precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Praise God, we serve an awesome God, we serve a faithful God, and we serve a mighty God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. So, family of God, we're going to go straight into the Word. So, Father, I pray the blessing of the Lord be released upon the Word. Not I speak, but you speak. And I pray that this Word, God, will speak to your people. That will bring understanding, knowledge, wisdom, encouragement, 
oh God, in the name of Jesus, that will bring transformation, renewal of mindset. I thank you, King of glory, and I give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So greetings all in the wonderful and precious name of Jesus. Uh, please feel free to share this broadcast um, on your Facebook page. And with family and friends, praise the Lord. Amen. Deuteronomy chapter 10. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12 and 13. Deuteronomy chapter 10, uh, verse 12 and 13. We are open to what Holy Spirit has to say to us. Amen. Uh, praise God. Hallelujah. Deuteronomy chapter 10, um, verse 12 to verse 13. Uh, this is what the Lord requires of his people. Praise God. And I believe on my previous uh, Facebook Live, I shared uh, on what the Lord requires. And I, I believe this is what God is saying to us. Amen. A continuation um, of that. Praise God. Amen. So Deuteronomy chapter 10, uh, verse 12 to 13. Feel free to uh, participate with me on the comment section. I would appreciate that. Uh, God bless you all tonight once again. Amen. The word of God says, And now Israel, what does the Lord your God require of you? But to fear the Lord your God to walk in all his ways and to love him, to serve the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and to keep the commandments of the Lord. Amen. To keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes, which I command you today for your good. Amen. Amen. This is for your good, family. This is for your good. This is for your well-being. Praise God that we follow the instructions of the Lord. Amen. Praise God. God does not want um, delayed obedience. God wants prompt obedience. The word of God says that obedience is better than sacrifice. So God is calling us to walk in total obedience to him. Amen. Praise God. This is an instruction. Uh, from the Lord, a command from God, amen, and the word of God says, let him who has an ear, hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying to the church, praise God, and so we got to elevate our hearing family of God, and so that we are hearing what Holy Spirit is saying, praise God, that is very, very important, and God is speaking, amen, God is speaking, um, and God is also speaking by his actions and we can see what is happening around us, family of God. Praise God. That's what we have to discern the season and the times that we are in um, and that we have to be in God. Praise God in tuned uh, with Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise God to hear what God is saying, what God is revealing. Um, praise God. Hallelujah. So we have to be in habitation with the Lord. Okay, so God is saying to his people for us to fear the Lord. Amen. Praise God. God requires for us to fear him. And why, why there's a mess today, especially there's a mess in the church today, is because many people don't fear God. They don't um, walk in the fear of the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So they don't fear the Lord. They don't fear God. Um, they just do as they please. Family of God. We have to walk in the fear of the Lord. Amen. Praise God. That simply means that we walk in honor to God. So that we need to know what God uh, um, likes and what God dislikes. We need to know what God, uh, uh, um, you know, hates as well. Praise God. Um, because it's very important that we don't offend God. Amen. We must come to this place where we don't want to make God ashamed. Praise God. Amen. That we live a life that is total surrender to God by walking and living in total obedience, prompt obedience to God and his word. Praise God. Amen. So uh, we, we must understand that family of God. And so it's a call to repentance. It's a call to repentance because uh, some of us have dishonored God. We've displeased God. We have offended God uh, uh, by by, by placing other things before God and God is sovereignty. God, uh, praise God, is holy. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. For he alone is worthy, family of God. He alone deserves all the glory, the praise and the adoration, uh, family of God. So God has to be first priority in our lives. Praise God that we ought not to put anything above 
uh, above God or before God. God has to be first priority um, in our lives, family of God. And we see the instruction coming from the word of God in Deuteronomy 10, uh, uh, verse 12 and 13. For number one, for us to fear God. Amen. Fear God. Walk in reverence. Walk in honor. Walk in holiness. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. That is a command. It is a requirement. Praise God. And when we adhere to that family of God, you honor God when you walk in the fear of the Lord. You honor God. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. We see today people fear man more than God. We reverence man more than we reverence God. Family, God has to be number one priority in our lives. Amen. Yes, you give honor to whom honor is due. Okay, you give honor to whom honor is due. That is correct. Praise God. Um, to leadership as well, you give honor to whom honor is due. Amen. To one another. Uh, if you are in marriage, praise God. You give honor to uh, each other as spouses. Praise God. As partners. Amen. You give honor to whom honor is due. Amen. Didn't Jesus teach us that give to Caesar what is due to Caesar? Okay. Give to God what is due to God. That is important, right? Praise God. Amen. So you give honor to whom honor is due. But it's very important to understand, family of God, that we ought to please God. We ought to live our lives um, in God's order. Amen. Praise God by pleasing God the Father. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Because no man is God. Hallelujah. Amen. And so we see the instruction coming from the Lord tonight. Amen. Praise God. Uh, is for us to fear the Lord. Fear the Lord. Okay. Number two, we see in that context of scripture, for us to walk in his ways. For us to walk in his ways. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. For us to walk in his ways. God requires us, amen, to live our lives after the pattern he has set before us or he has set for us to walk on his road and not on our own. So God is saying, I'm not found in your traditions. I'm not found in your culture. I'm not found in your man-made systems. If you're looking for God there, you will not find him there. He says, if you seek me, you will find me when you seek me with all your heart. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And so there is a pattern that we ought to follow family of God. And Jesus is the pattern. There's a way that we ought to be uh, conducting ourselves. There's, all, there's a way that we ought to carry ourselves uh, 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 and knowing that we are royalty. Amen. Somebody needs to hear that tonight. Amen. As, as, as you are part of God's family. Amen. Praise God. You are royalty. Amen. And so there's a way that you ought to carry yourself. There's a way you, there's a manner in which you carry yourself in how you walk uh, and how you talk and how you dress. Uh, uh, praise God. Even in the house of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. So we have to walk in the ways of the Lord. Amen. Praise God. We have to walk in the ways of the Lord. But in order for us to walk in the ways of the Lord, we have to take time to get to know God's ways. Right? We have to get to know God's ways. Praise God. And so when we come into the house of God, praise God. The house of God is the holy sanctuary. Amen. Praise God. So we cannot just come in and do as we please. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. We have to be in total submission to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Even you are, if you are uh, involved in ministry or you 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 active within the house there's a way that you ought to carry yourself there's a way that you ought to dress amen praise god hallelujah and 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 holiness is a lifestyle right praise god holiness is a lifestyle it's not a sunday thing holiness is not a denomination holiness is a lifestyle praise god amen amen so we are called to be holy we are commanded by god to be holy he says be a holy for i am holy right so you cannot just come in and 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 do as you please within the house of god family of god judgment begins in the house of god 
Are you understanding this? God is the standard. And so we need to keep and uphold the standard of God in the house of God. Uh, amen. Praise God. Even in your daily life, day to day life. Amen. In your home, in your workplace, in your schooling environment. Praise God. Wherever God has assigned you to be, you must uphold the standard of God in everything. Praise God in how you walk, how you talk, how you carry yourself, how you dress, how you conduct yourself. Amen. Through your character. Praise God. That is so, so, so important. Right. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The word of God says dress modestly, dress modestly uh, when you go to the house of God, not revealing things. Amen. If you are preaching, amen, or if you are singing, uh, or if you're playing uh, psalms or uh, instruments, praise God, whatever it might be. Amen. You need to be dressed holy, holiness, praise God. Amen. No revealing things, nothing drawing attention to yourself, uh, uh, nothing uh, causing somebody to fall into temptation in the house of God. Amen. You need to be covered up. You need to be covered up because you don't draw any attention to yourself. Are you understanding this? Praise God. We're there to draw people to God. We're there to draw people to God. We're there to point people to God, not to ourselves, right? Praise God. So stop trying to be like the world and stop behaving like the world and stop bringing the world into the, into the church. What is called doing in the church? Praise God. Amen. The word of God says, do not be conformed to the pattern of this world. Amen. Praise God. Romans chapter 12. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Do not be conformed to the patterns of this world. Amen. Praise God. We, we are called and assigned to know that we are called to be set apart. Amen. Praise God. To be separated from the things of this world. To be separated from, from the love affairs of the things of this world. And, and be told we are totally separated unto God. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. And so we are called to, be, to, to, to put a difference between what is clean and unclean. Are you understanding this, people of God? We are called to put a difference between what is holy and what is unholy. Amen. What is profane? Are you understanding this? Praise God. I'm speaking to the kingdom citizen. I'm speaking to the kingdom ambassadors. I'm speaking to the ecclesia. I'm speaking to the remnant. I praise God. Hallelujah. So we are called to be the difference. We are called to be set apart. Are you understanding this? Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus says, my house shall be called a house of prayer but you have made it a den of robbers. Praise God. Amen. And so we got to get order back into the church. Are you understanding this? Get order back into the church and not man's order. We have to get God's order back into the church. Praise God. Hallelujah. So we cannot drop the standard of God in the sanctuary. Are you understanding this, people of God? We cannot drop the standard of God to appease people, uh, 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 family. We are, be, we, are, we, are, we are doing a disadvantage to the people. Are you understanding this? Praise God. Because if you are doing that, then you're pointing people to yourself and not to Jesus. Let me say this to you tonight. True, true salvation does not come from a denomination. True salvation does not come from a church. Uh, true uh, salvation comes from the Lord Jesus Christ. So we've got to preach the doctrine of Jesus Christ. We ought to lift up the name of Jesus because the purpose of all of us tonight, according to Romans 8 verse 29, is for us to become more like Jesus Christ. Amen. That is the purpose. And let me tell you tonight, God's purpose. God's plan has not changed for humanity. It was always God's design, family of God, for, 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 for heaven to rule on the earth. Are you understanding this, people of God? And so there is a place that God is calling you and I tonight, which is beyond the four-corner building, which is beyond religion, church tradition, your church culture, family of God. Hallelujah. There's a place that God is calling us in him, in him, family of God, there's a place, there's a higher place in him. God wants us to come into a, a higher place in him, greater heights, a, a greater dimension, praise God, where we experience him. Oh my God, hallelujah. We don't want to experience church, but to experience him, to have an encounter with God. Are you understanding this people of God? Amen. Praise God. Because we must understand that we're in this world, but not of this world. Amen. We are here to advance God's kingdom in the earth. We are here to advance uh, the mandate of God in the earth. We are here to also expand God's kingdom in the earth. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. I hope you're understanding this. Okay. So it's the responsibility of every leader not to raise up members, but to raise up sons. According to Romans chapter 8, for whole of creation is engrown in anticipation for the manifestation of the revealing of the true sons of God. 
Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. And those who are led by the Holy Spirit, Romans 8 verse 14, those who are led, the word led there means govern. Those who are led, those who are governed by the Spirit of God are the true sons of God. Amen. So we're not here to raise up members or membership, but we are here to raise up sons. Amen. Praise God, who will carry out the responsibility of, 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 of the kingdom of God. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Of bringing heaven on earth. And being about the Father's business. Amen. Praise God. Are you understanding that people of God? And so God is speaking to us, family of God. Number one, to fear Him. Amen. Because the church has lost the fear of God. They're just doing their own things. They're worried about themselves. They're worried about drawing attention to themselves. They're more worried about membership. They're more worried about all these kind of stuff. And people are dying. People people are sick. Uh, uh, people, people are suffering. Uh, people are spiritually dead. Even in the place of the sanctuary family of God. How can we go out to a sick, dying world if we are in that position? No, we cannot. We cannot. We cannot. We cannot. Don't go out because you're gifted and anointed and yet you're bleeding and you're hurt and you're broken. My God, you got to get yourself to a place where you get your healing, where you, where you get your total being made whole again. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. You cannot just go out if you have not been sent or released. Okay, we can learn that from the disciples that were with Jesus, right? Praise God. They did not go out on their own. Jesus sent them out. Jesus sent them out. Praise God. And so I'm, I'm, I'm here to help you tonight, family of God. Amen. There's order in the kingdom of God. There's authority. Hallelujah. There's authority in the kingdom of God. There's authority in the house of God. We have to walk in authority. We have to live in authority. We have to be in total submissive uh, 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 submission to the authority of God. That's what the word of God says in James 4 verse 7. Submit to God. First, submit to God. Amen. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. But what we see today, a total, complete change. People don't want to submit to God. They don't want to submit to God. Some people don't want God. Some people don't even want church. Family of God. We ought not to want church. We ought to want God. God more than anything else. And I'm not saying don't go to the house of God. The word of God says do not neglect the gathering of the saints. Are you understanding that people of God? Amen. So you have to be in a place with the, that is the planting of the Lord. Hallelujah. That is the planting of the Lord. Amen. Praise God. And in that place you will flourish and you will grow. So James 4 verse 7 says, Submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Praise God. So in order for you to resist the enemy, you have to submit to God. Submit to God's authority. Submit to God's plan, to God's purpose, God's order, God's ways. Submit yourself to God in humility. Submit yourself uh, in the fear of the Lord, in honor to God. Right? Praise God. And then you resist the enemy. You don't fight him. And the only way that you can resist the enemy, praise God, is by you being is submissive to the authority of God. Amen. And in order for you to resist the enemy, the word resist there means to stand firm. Now, in order for you to stand firm or resist the enemy, praise God, hallelujah, you are able to stand firm and resist the enemy by you submitting to God's authority, number one. Number two, by being full of the word of God. And number three, being full of the Holy Ghost. And number four, putting on the whole armor of God, according to Ephesians chapter 6. Are you understanding that? Right. And so when you have when you when you have applied that in your life, family of God, then the scripture says in James 4 verse 7, and then the enemy will flee from you. In the other context, the original translation says that the enemy will run in terror from you. The enemy will run in terror from you when you submit to God's authority. Amen. Praise God. When you are full of the Holy Ghost, praise God. When you are full of the word of God, praise God. When you when you put on the complete armor, the whole armor of God, your spiritual armor, praise God, that comes from God. Amen. Praise God. The spiritual armor is not something that you t that you uh, 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 put on in the morning when you wake up and you take it off when you go sleep. No, the spiritual armor of God uh, remains intact on your life as a believer that accept Jesus Christ into their life. And that is born again. That's correct. That is born again according to John chapter 3. Amen. Praise God. Unless a man be born again of water and spirit, he shall not enter the kingdom of God. Amen. Are you understanding this people of God? So once you are born again, amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You'll be able to stand 
um, firm against him. The enemy will run in terror from you. Praise God. Amen. Because we're not fighting the devil. The devil is a defeated foe. But we are resisting him. Amen. James 4 verse 7 tells us that. Right? Praise God. Submit to God. Resist the devil. And he will flee from you. So submit to the authority of God. Amen. Amen. And as we were talking about the whole armor of God. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. That is so important. Amen. The armor of God remains intact on your life. Praise God. As long as you are in intimate relationship and fellowship with the Lord Jesus Christ. The moment you deny God, the moment you the moment you deny God, listen to me, the, the armor of God is lifted off you and then you are exposed for hell to bombard your life. Are you understanding this? So it is important that God wants us to remain in intimacy with him, in an intimate relationship with him. Amen. In a place of, of habitation with the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. God is not just visiting his people, but he wants to habitate with his people. Are you understanding? this praise God he wants you he wants to habitate with you he wants to lodge with you amen praise God hallelujah amen hallelujah for the son of man has nowhere to lay his head to rest are you understanding this uh, uh, people of God amen hallelujah hallelujah the scripture says that amen amen praise God hallelujah Hallelujah. So God is looking for a people whom he can lay his headship in. Amen. He's looking for people whom he can lay his headship in. Amen. And praise God. Are you understanding this people of God? So God is calling us to a place of intimacy with him. Don't be so involved with ministry. Don't be so involved with ministry that you forget your first ministry is to God. Your personal ministry, your personal ministry to God is of great importance. It's of, it's, it's of utmost importance with your personal relationship, your personal fellowship with God so don't be caught up with just doing ministry you all over the place amen and then you ignore your fellowship with God your intimacy family because when you when I when I talk to so many people that I'm so busy I'm so busy I don't have time for this I don't have time for their family we cannot stop time we have 24 uh, uh, hours in a day we cannot stop time but what you can do is manage time are you understanding this praise God you need to manage your time well, you need to prioritize yourself well because some of you are doing things that God did not tell you to do. Some of you are doing things that God did not ask you to do. Some of you are doing things because other people have told you to do it. And God says, but I did not lead you to do that. Now you've become so busy that now you're at a point of exhaustion that you're running so much with ministry that you're not taking the time to balance yourself. You need rest. You need to recuperate. You need How are you understanding this people of God? Rest is so important. Balance is so important. Don't be all over the place. Are you understanding this, people of God? So your first ministry is to God. Your first ministry is to God. Your personal relationship with God. Amen. Hallelujah. Always remember that. Okay. Praise God. Amen. Amen. And, and, and your first ministry, praise God, when you're actively involved doing ministry on ground level, let me say this, that your first ministry is your family is your family okay praise god so balance is very important right and management is also important jesus taught about management in the kingdom management is part of the kingdom okay jesus even said um, occupy until i come occupy until i come are oh, you understanding this occupy until i come in other words you should be about the father's business praise god so god th this is a clarion call are you understanding this is the clarion call that God is sounding the alarm? Are you understanding this? For us to take our offense position, for us to take our offense position, amen, praise God, and get onto the battlefield, get onto the battleground. Are you understanding this, people of God? We need to be vigilant. We need to be alert uh, 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 because there's much that's going on. The spiritual warfare has intensified. Are you understanding this? Praise God. Hallelujah. So this is not a time for you to be lukewarm. No, this is not a time for you to 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 run in fear and terror. This is not a time for you uh, uh, to run away. This is a time for you to stand strong. Stand strong in the Lord. I'm saying to you tonight to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Are you understanding this? To be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of 
his might. Amen. Praise God and set your face as a flint on the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God and do what God has called you to do. Praise God that you do it with God. You do it God's ways. You do it with God. Praise God. So God gets the glory. Amen. So many people today are just all over the place because they're doing um, what they want to be done and not what God has asked them to do. Family, in this season and in this time, you want to be doing what God wants you to do. You want to be doing what God has called you to do. You want to be doing only what God has instructed you to do. You should not be doing anything else. Okay, praise God. So remember that your personal intimacy with God is more important than ministry. That's what I'm saying. Your personal intimacy, you getting to know Jesus, amen. Praise God, hallelujah. You growing in a strong fellowship with Jesus is more important than ministry. All right, and your first ministry is your family. Are you understanding this? Praise God. So balance is important. Don't be all over the place. Uh, balance is important, so you got to take the time to take self introspect to ask God, God, what, 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 what should I be doing right now? What, what should I be doing right now? Where should I be? Um, um, what should I say? Right? Praise God. What is my assignment for the season? Right? What is my purpose to carry out? Those are the questions you got. You have to be asking God. Amen. And you allow the Holy Spirit to lead you and guide you and govern you and direct you. Because listen to me, the Holy Spirit will give you the when to. The how to, the why to, praise God, amen. When you trust God through the process and you yield your total being to Holy Spirit, he'll give you the when to, the how to, the why to, the no to, and the what to. Those are very five important keys, amen. Praise God, hallelujah, because you want to be in alignment to God's word. You want to be in agreement with what God is saying, what God is, has instructed you to do, praise God, so that you are not all over the place. Are you understanding this? Let me say this to you leaders. You have already been impregnated before the foundations of the earth. Praise God. Amen. Whom is already assigned to your life? Are you understanding that? Right? Praise God. Amen. Amen. Because we cannot be everywhere at the same time. Right? Amen. I'm called to a people. I'm called to a people. Amen. And God will instruct me to raise up sons. Amen. Raise them up so they can go out and extend the work and, and advance God's kingdom. Family, because it's not about me. It's not about the church name. It's got nothing to do about me. It's about God. Amen. Praise God. So this is an urgent call. Are you understanding this people of God? Because time is being absorbed by eternity. So this is a matter of urgency. For us to stop playing church, playing games and playing around and be focused about the Father's business. Amen. Deuteronomy 10, 12, 13, we're still there. Amen. And so God says, we're sitting number one to war, to fear the Lord. We said number two, God is saying to us to walk in his ways. Amen. Praise God. And number three, to love him, to love him wholeheartedly. Remember that we were created to love God back. Hallelujah. To love him. God requires us to love him. Amen. This means to this means uh, the love he expects isn't a love that just happens, but is a love that comes from a decision to set our affection upon him. Amen. Praise God. And this is so important that you and I must set our affections on things above. Praise God. According to Colossians chapter 3, verse 1 and 2, we set our affections on things above. Praise God. Set your affections on things above. Praise God. Amen. Don't be caught up with the earthly things that surrounding you. Praise God. These things are temporary. These things are temporary. Amen. Praise God. But set your affections on things above. Amen. Praise God. Number four. Hallelujah. Number four, to serve the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, your mind, with your total being. Amen. God doesn't want 10% of you. God wants all of you. God wants all of you. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. God wants all of you. Because when God gave his only begotten son, he gave his total being of his begotten son. Amen. And God wants 
all of you and I. Praise God. We got to come to the place and say to God, you know, for God I live, for God I die. Praise God. Hallelujah. For God I live, for God I die. You got to come to that place, family of God, that is no longer I lives, but Christ lives in me. Why? Because I have been crucified with Christ. It's no longer I live, but Christ lives in me. Praise God. The life that I live now in the flesh, I live by faith. Praise God. Hallelujah. Christ in you, the hope of glory. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. So as he is, so are you and I in this world. Amen. Praise God. So we are called to love God wholeheartedly with your total being. Amen. To love him. Amen. To serve him wholeheartedly. Praise God. God wants all of you. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So you've got to ask the Holy Spirit to reveal to you areas in your life what ails you, what, what is causing you not to, 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 to ascend in Him, what is causing you not to uh, uh, be elevated in Him, family of God. What, what, what is those things, okay? You understand what I'm saying? Ask the Holy Spirit to reveal that to you. Praise God. Amen. So that you partner with the Holy Spirit to help you through your process of healing and deliverance. Amen. Praise God as you attain and apply the truth of God's word in your life because true deliverance comes through the washing of the word of God. Praise God. Amen. So God wants all of you. Amen. He doesn't want some of you. He wants all of you. Praise God. Amen. Sometimes we say to the Lord, Lord, I give you my all. But do we really have an understanding of what we're saying to the Lord? Praise God. Hallelujah. So God wants us to serve him with all our heart and with all our soul, with our total being. Praise God. Amen. God requires us to serve him, family of God, to see all that we do as service unto him and to do all that we do as if doing it unto him. Everything that you do, family of God, must be done unto the Lord, must be done with diligence. Amen. Praise God. Must be done in love and in honor to God and God must get the glory anything that you do amen praise god no man gets the glory praise god hallelujah and the word of god says it's for your good deuteronomy 10 amen verse 12 and 13 for your good every command of god is given for our good let me say this family of god the commandments of god is not there to burden us it is the instructions of god amen it is god's word it is god's precepts it is god's laws Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So if you love the Lord, you will adhere to his commandments. You will keep his commandments if you love the Lord your God. Amen. So the commandments of God are not to burden you. Praise God. Every command of God is given for our good. Amen. The word good there simply means profitable and beneficial. Okay. So it will be profitable in your life and it will be beneficial in your life when you adhere to the word of God in your life. Amen. When you walk according to kingdom principles, kingdom laws. Amen. Praise God's word. Hallelujah. Praise God. Uh, they are never given so he can exercise his power or so he can feel important. Praise God. Every command he makes is with our best interests in mind. Even if we cannot sense it or understand it. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we ought to love God with everything, family of God. Amen. Praise God. Love God with your total being. Allow him to love on you. Allow him to love on you. Praise God. Allow him to love on you. Family of God, we are a chosen generation. And being chosen, praise God, being the special attention of God focused upon you is a place of great privilege, but also a place of great responsibility. We have a responsibility and our responsibility is to walk and live in total obedience to God and his word. That is our responsibility. Praise God. Hallelujah. So God wants all of you. Amen. God doesn't want your certificates. He doesn't want your garments. He doesn't want your title. He wants you. He wants your heart. 
Amen. He wants your heart. He told the children of Israel, therefore circumcise the foreskin of your heart. God wants your heart. We have to die to self daily. Amen. Praise God. We have to bring this flesh. Amen. This undisciplined flesh. Amen. Under the subjection of the Holy Spirit. <coughs> Sorry about that. Praise God. Amen. That's why many people can be saved but not delivered because their behavior has not changed because their character has not changed to become more like Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Because they're not in a place of intimacy with the Lord Jesus Christ. Being in an intimate relationship with Jesus Christ. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Because when you're in that place of you accepting Jesus Christ and being born again and you're in that place of of intimacy in your relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. I believe that when you are rooted and grounded in Christ, amen, praise God, and you abide in Him and in His Word, praise God, and you are engrafted in Christ, uh, family of God, your character will change. Your character will change. You will develop into the character of Christ. Amen. Praise God. And that is the purpose, praise God, amen, of humanity is for us to develop into the character of Jesus Christ. And family of God, when your character develops into the character of Jesus Christ, what's going to happen? Your behavior is going to change. Your behavior is going to change. Praise God. Your behavior is going to change. So it's a daily dying to self, right? Daily dying to self. Crucify this flesh. Die to self. Praise God. You decrease so he increases, right? Amen. Praise God. You want nothing in you that does not look like him, that does not represent him, that does not glorify him. You don't want that inside of you. That is what you need to get out of you. Praise God. And Psalms David said it so profoundly in Psalms 139. He says, search my heart, O God, thoroughly. See if there's any wicked way or hurtful way within me, praise God, and lead me on the path everlasting, lead me on the path of righteousness, praise God, and so it's not you doing the searching, it's uh, you allowing the Holy Spirit to do the searching, amen, and it's daily searching, if there's any wicked way in my heart, oh God, remove it out of me, get it out of me, praise God, and lead me on the path of righteousness, that's the path we should be walking, the path that we should be living, praise God, is the path of of righteousness. Why? Because of his name sake. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Matthew 6 verse 33. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these other things shall be added unto you. Family of God. Amen. So we have the strategy given to us by Jesus. Amen. Is to seek God's kingdom first. Is to chase after him. Amen. Praise God. Chase after the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord and to walk in upright standing with the Lord. Amen. Walk in righteousness, live in righteousness. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. And the word of God says, and all these other things, your daily necessities, your daily needs shall be met. Amen. That's what the word of God says. Be anxious of nothing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. But we remain, amen, in prayer. We give our petition with thanksgiving unto the Lord because we know that many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord shall deliver them out of them all. Glory to God. That is the promise of God to his children. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord shall deliver them you out of them all. So God is saying, as you return to me, praise God, amen, it's a returning back to God. It's a returning back to the true living God, amen, it's a returning back to God's order, God's ways, God's authority, amen, it's a returning back to your true self in who you are in God and whom God has created you to be, family of God, that is the true returning, praise God, amen, hallelujah, hallelujah. So as we surrender our hearts to God, God doesn't want your garments, as I said, God doesn't want your garments, your certificate. Uh, no, no. God wants your heart. So God, you want my heart, you can have it, right? Praise God. God wants your heart. Amen. And that's why the scripture says he will grant the desires of your heart. Praise God. So God, I want your heart. Because I want what you want for my life. Amen. Praise God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. So we have to circumcise ourselves to the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Circumcise ourselves to the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. And when we do that, the Lord will begin to uh, uh, take away the four skins 
um, of your heart. Okay? Amen. Praise God. According to Jeremiah 4 verse 4. Amen. To fulfill God's law, it takes more than being, being given a command. It takes an inner transformation. Amen. A transformation that only God can bring. Amen. Amen. Praise God. That only God can bring. That only God can bring. That only God can bring. Amen. Inward transformation. Praise God. That will express an outward manifestation tonight. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. An inward transformation. Amen. That will express or unfold or manifest an outward manifestation. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Because you are carriers of God's glory. You are carriers of God's presence. Amen. And whole of creation is waiting for the revealing of the true sons of God who are carriers of God's glory. Amen. Who will bring heaven on earth. Amen. Advance God's kingdom. Expand God's kingdom. Glory to God. And reconcile people back to God. Amen. We have been given the ministry of reconciliation to reconcile God's people back to God through his son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. So in order for us to speak about Jesus, amen, we got to get to know him. We got to take the time to get to know the person and the purpose of Jesus Christ. And we also got to get to know, listen to me very carefully. Amen. Amen. We got to get to know ourselves as well. Praise God. And our true identity identity is in Christ. So you got to know who you are. You got to know whose you are. And you got to know who lives on the inside of you. Praise God. Are you understanding this uh, family of God? Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Because greater is he that is in you than he that's in the world. Amen. The greater one resides on the inside of you. The anointed one resides on the inside of you. Amen. Praise God. So you are assigned to make a difference in your world, in your workplace, in your school, in your college. Amen. In that city, in that road, in that neighborhood, in that country. Praise God. You are assigned to make a difference. You are an agent of change. Are you understanding this people of God? You are a kingdom influencer. Praise God. You are there to influence people with the kingdom of God, with the love of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. And so in order for you to introduce people to Jesus Christ, you've got to take the time to get to know him. That's why discipleship is important. Praise God. So that your mind is renewed. Praise God. For according to Romans 12 verse 2, don't be conformed to the pattern of this world, but be a transformed by the renewing of your mind. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Renewal of the mind. Amen. Is through meditation. Of God's word according to Joshua 1 verse 8. For this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. But you shall meditate upon it day and night. That you may observe to do all that is written uh, in the word of God. According to the word of God. Praise God. Hallelujah. And then you will make your way prosperous. And you will have good success. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. So that's who you are tonight. You are a kingdom citizen. And you are a kingdom ambassador. Amen. Praise God. You are a kingdom influencer. Praise God. Amen. You, listen to me. You also have to be intentional in this season. Come on. You have to be intentional. Know what is your purpose. Discover your purpose. Know what is your purpose. And, and everything that you do for God must be done with purpose. On purpose. For purpose. You are here on purpose by God. Amen. You are being divinely purposed for purpose by God. So you are here on purpose. <laughs> Praise God. By purpose. On purpose. For purpose. Oh, glory to God. Amen. Yeah, amen. Hallelujah. So you're not a mistake. Amen. You are purpose tonight. You are purpose. You are purpose. You are an agent of change. You are an agent of change. You are a change agent. Amen. Praise God. You are there to take Jesus to the world. Hallelujah. Amen. Winning souls for Jesus. But as I said, we got to take the time to get to know Jesus. But also, number two, we also got to look like him. You can't go out and represent someone you don't look like. So you have to have a personal, intimate relationship with Jesus. Hallelujah. So when people see you, they must see Christ in you. They must see the light in in you. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's why you must be imitators of Christ. Amen. Praise God. So you have been divinely purposed 
for purpose. You are not a mistake. You are not an accident. Uh, you are not a black sheep of your family. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You are purpose. You are loved by God. You are valued by God. You are appreciated by God. You are a person of value. Are you understanding? This? You are a somebody. You are the apple of God's eye. You are the head and not the tail. You are above and not beneath. You are more than a conqueror. You are more than an overcomer. You are who God says you are and you can do what God says you can do and you can have what God says you can have and you can go where God says you can go. Hallelujah. Praise God. This is your season. This is your time. This, this is your now moment. This is your God moment. This is your now God moment. This is your now God moment where God is going to surprise you in this season and in this hour. I decree and I declare that God is going to surprise you. As you've been waiting upon the Lord and you've been, you've been in habitation with God in the secret place, God is going to surprise you in the open. Glory to God. As you have been in the secret place with the Most High God. God, my God, you've been hiding under the shadow of the Almighty, my God. Mm, help me tonight, Lord. May God hide you under the shadow of his almighty. Come on, somebody. May God hide you under the shadow of his almighty. Under the shadow of his almighty, you shall be, you shall, uh, be infused with supernatural strength. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. May God hide you under the shadow of his almighty. In that place, you will receive strength and restoration and healing and the favor of God and the blessing of the Lord. Hallelujah. Be released upon you that make it rich and add no sorrows to your life in the name of Jesus my God I pray that you will have favor with God and favor with man I release supernatural favor upon your life that you are blessed in the city you are blessed in the field you are blessed coming in and you are blessed going out may God open doors in your life and right now and gates in your life my God hallelujah that no man can shut in your life in the name of Jesus for your life your home your family your children your grandchildren your husband your wife I'm speaking to you tonight by the authority of heaven hallelujah my God I pray for the release of God's grace upon you the grace of the Lord hallelujah to carry you through hallelujah praise God that God is taking you from the pit Praise God. He's taking you from the pit to the palace. Praise God. Hallelujah. My God. My God. You are going ahead of, you are going ahead in the season. I believe it in the name of Jesus uh, that God is preparing you for great things. Uh, God is preparing you for great things. Uh, God is preparing you for great things uh, because there's greatness inside of you. If somebody told you you're a nothing, somebody told you you're a nobody, somebody told you you are useless, I'm saying to you tonight that's the lies of the devil. We pull down every stronghold right now that's being imprisoned in your mind right now we speak the word of God the word of truth that will renew your mind to dismantle those negative strongholds that you have built in your mind right now I'm saying to you tonight that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you you are a somebody you are valuable you are special you are precious amen praise God and God is going to place you in places you thought you could not be God is going to put you in seats you thought you could not sit in I release supernatural favor upon you now in the name of Jesus my God I release supernatural favor upon you for increase for promotion, for elevation upon your life in the name of Jesus. Makandru salamandru selemendre lebra kasukata lamrand lebro samandro shekete lebreka mandrusa. Oh, hallelujah! Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Holy Spirit. And so, family of God, receive the word of the Lord. Receive the word of the Lord. Be released to you tonight in Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah. Restoration, restoration, divine restoration in the name of Jesus. My God, la brosa mandro se le breca braca brusa cata, le braca sucata, le brosa mandele le bosa cata la mandele mendele munda la mandra bra, and la braca braca sucata le mendre brocasa. May God recompense you. May God recompense you. Divine restoration in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Divine restoration be released upon you tonight. In in the name of Jesus, my God, I thank you, King of Glory. May the favor of God, may the favor of God cover you as a shield. My God, may the presence of God wrap around you as a shield of protection. Yes, I prophesy divine restoration to Lexi in the name of Jesus. Thank you for that comment, Joey. God bless you. I prophesy divine restoration to a total being in the name of Jesus, my God, to a mental condition. 
condition to our life in the name of Jesus. Yes, I pray also for Taylor as well. Divine restoration family. You can put comments. It's okay. You can put prayer requests right now. It's fine. Father, I just thank you for your presence right now. I thank you for Taylor's life. God, divine restoration upon our life in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, that she is destined for great things in the name of Jesus. I pray that everything will work together for good for them in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. May God restore your heart, Minister Kelly. Good to see you, to have you with us all the way from states. God bless you, my sister. Love you much. Um, may God restore your heart. Amen. Amen. May God heal your heart. Hallelujah. May God give you inner healing. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. May God heal your heart. Inner healing be released upon you tonight in the name of Jesus. From Durban, South Africa. We release that to you now by faith, by the Holy Spirit upon you now in the name of Jesus. Thank you for Anraya's life. Praise God. We thank you for restoration in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you for divine restoration in the name of Jesus. Mandro salamamande lelebo sakatala babande lebraka mandrusa la mandrusa le mandrusa la mandrusa. We pray for the purpose of God to prevail and be established, O oh God, in on Raya's life in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for Annaline and, and Nathan, Father. We thank you for divine restoration. We pray for the will of God, Father, to be established in their life, King of glory, in the name of Jesus. We pray for the will of God. We pray for the will of God. We pray for the will of God in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you for divine restoration in the name of Jesus. On Raya's life or on Ria's life. Okay, forgive me if I do not pronounce it correctly, but I prophesy divine restoration that that all her ligaments, her bones, her tissues will come into alignment in Jesus' name. That she will walk in perfect health. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for complete healing. Thank you for restoration. In the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you. Thank you for your presence. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Um, Kelly, the Lord is saying to you tonight that he's not forgotten you. The Lord is saying to you tonight that I'm healing you from, from within you. I'm healing you because you have been waiting upon the Lord and you're still going through your period of inner healing of mourning. But the Lord says, I'm mending your heart. The Lord says, I'm mending your heart. The Lord says, I'm mending your heart. And I'm knitting your heart towards my heart. My God, I release the Holy Ghost upon you now in Jesus' name. My God, let it fill that place where you are right Right now to bring in a healing mando rubro sakata. The Lord says, I'm mending your heart. I'm knitting your heart together with mine. My God, I see a knitting taking place. The Lord says, remain in intertwining in my, in your relationship with me. My God, intertwining, intertwining. That's what I see. Intertwining, intertwining in your intimacy, in your relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. And in that place, that's where he's mending your heart. He's mending your heart and he's, and he's giving you his heart a heart after God amen this is not a time for you to sit down come on this is not a time for you to sit down this is a time for you to get up this is a time for you to get up this is a time for you to wake up this is a time for you to walk in the mandate of God concerning your life amen praise God and to connect with divine helpers in the season that will help you to hold your hand and walk you through the process in Jesus name I release the word of the Lord to you amen <coughs> thank you Lord Thank you, Father. This is a call to obedience, total obedience, a call to reverence, praise God, and a call to have compassion. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. That's, that's the call of God to the church tonight. Amen. To his people. Amen. To reverence. Hallelujah. To reverence God. To reverence the presence of God. Amen. To not be dis, dis, to not disrespect God. To not disrespect the Holy Spirit. Even in the place of the sanctuary, we have to reverence God. Reverence the Holy Spirit. Stop disrespecting God in the house of God. Stop disrespecting the presence of God. Stop disrespecting Holy Spirit when he wants to come in and have his way within the meeting with your programs and, and your tradition and your religion and your culture and your offering and your tithes <laughs> don't stop the move of the Holy Spirit you are disrespecting God and you are disrespecting the Holy Spirit praise God amen 
Oh, thank you, God. I need your prayers, family of God, wherever you are. Please intercede for me. Thank you. And so um, I'm, I'm coming to you tonight, even though my body is under attack, but I'm, but I'm being obedient to the Lord to come and, and minister to you and, and speak to you the word of the Lord. Oh, uh, Reginald, Reginald, hallelujah. Thank you, Reginald. May the Lord take you higher in him. May I, I see the Lord is going to take you to a place in him that you have not yet been before. I, I see the Lord is going to begin to open uh, 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 um, your mind, your mind, hallelujah, praise God, because he wants to download a uh, revelation uh, to you, praise God, amen, hallelujah, he wants to open your mind, amen, and he wants to reveal mysteries and secrets of the kingdom of God, praise God, hallelujah, amen, glory to God, that's what I see the Lord wants to do with you, amen, so he's going to take you down deep into the word, amen, to, 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 to reveal mysteries, uh, um, to you. Amen. Praise God. Because that's what the people need to hear. Uh, man of God. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. May the Holy Spirit fill you tonight. May the Holy Spirit fill you until you overflow. That those who are around you will be empowered. Acted. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. In the name of Jesus, I pray may the love of the Father uh, 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 overflood you tonight. In Jesus' name. I receive the prayers. Thank you. Thank you. I receive healing in Jesus' name. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Suffer and God bless you. Love you so much. Good to see you. Uh, hallelujah. But this is what the Lord is saying to you, Suffer. Amen. You are unique. Listen to me. You are unique. You are unique. You are not there to fit in, but there you are there to stand out. And God has a mandate upon your life, man of God. Amen. Hallelujah. I speak into your life. I speak blessings to you. I speak purpose into your life. And I speak the greatness of God to unfold and manifest in your life. Amen. Praise God. That you will walk out your purpose in the earth, that you will do what God has called you to do and assigned you to do where he's assigned you to be. Oh, hallelujah. So I just release the grace of God upon you. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. I release the word of the Lord to you in Jesus name. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 There was so much more that I needed to say and, and, and I needed to teach, but I think I will do that at another time, God willing. But I just needed to release that. Well, the Lord led, it, led me in a different direction tonight. Um, you know, the grace of the prophetic is flowing tonight. Amen. Praise God. So family, we, we receive an apostolic order that we have to get order in our lives, right? We have to get apostolic order in our lives. We have to get uh, apostolic order, God's order, even in the church. Amen. Praise God. Stop operating out of order. Stop operating out of order. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That is dishonoring God and that is displeasing God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Amen. Is there any more prayer request? Oh, I received the word. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Kelly. Um, hallelujah. I received the word of the Lord. Bless you, minister. Thank you, my sister. I received the blessing of the Lord. I received the prayers. Thank you so much. <coughs> Sorry about that. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Is there anyone else this, this evening that has any prayer requests? Amen. If you are blessed, hallelujah. I receive the prayers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Love you all so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Joan, the Lord is going to do a new thing within your, within your daughter's lives. Amen. I believe God is going to do that. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. God is going to do a new thing in their lives. Praise God. Amen. As you have committed them to God, you've given them to God. So you're going to see God just do that work in their life. Amen. So just trust God through the process. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I release the presence of God to you right now. I release the presence of God into your home right now, where you are in your home, in your business place, in your lounge, in your bedroom, in your car, wherever you are now. I just release the presence of God upon you now to wrap around you as a shield of protection that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Oh, hallelujah. 
and every tongue that is risen up in judgment against you tonight it shall be condemned in Jesus name may the Lord vindicate you may the Lord vindicate you I decree and I declare the justice of God to be the forefront of the matter may the Lord vindicate you may the Lord vindicate you Minister Jolie God bless you may the Lord vindicate you Amen. May the justice of God be the forefront of that matter right now in Jesus' name. I pray for the presence of God to be released upon you now. Hallelujah. To lift that burden right now. Oh, we pray for, uh, 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 if I'm saying it correctly, Michelle's uh, son, um, Khan. Uh, forgive me if I'm saying it wrong. Um, but we pray, we pray, we commit him into your hands. Father, you love him so much. He is the apple of your eye. And we pray for the hand of the Lord to be released upon him now. In the name of Jesus, right now. In the name of Jesus, to touch him, Lord. Father, to make him hold again. In the name of Jesus, that he will be led by the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He will be led by the Spirit of God to return back to God. And we trust you for complete healing and deliverance in his life. Amen. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We come up against every plan of the enemy over his life and we cancel it now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I come up against every plan of the enemy right now against your children, your grandchildren. Every plan of the enemy right now. Right now, I come up against those plans in Jesus' name. And I cancel it in the mighty name of Jesus. Your children and your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren shall live and not die to declare the works of the Lord in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Spirit of the Living God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for increase. Kelly, I decree increase. Kelly, I decree increase. 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 Increase, increase, increase within you. God will increase within you and overflow in your surroundings in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah! Hallelujah! I receive the blessings. Thank you so much. Thank you, Reginald. God bless you. I receive it. Thank you, man of God. Much love to you and great grace be released unto you, your household, your family, in the name of Jesus. Oh, praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Father. Caroline, the Lord says, I'm doing things my way. I need you to trust me through the process. And I'm going to do things my way. My way. My way. Everything is going to happen my way. Everything is going to unfold my way. My way shall be done. My way shall be unfold. My way shall be carried out. God just needs you to trust Him through the process as He's working on you and He's working through your children through your healing process. I release God's grace upon you now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Family of God, let me say this tonight. We have to trust God through the process. Everything trust God. Trust God in everything. Trust God through everything. Not people. Not people. Not man. Not even the church. Trust God. Do you understand? You are in a process. Let me give you some keys to help you through your process. Amen. Uh, I think this is, this is needed for someone tonight. Number one, if you are with me on the comment section, number one, embrace your process. Number one, embrace your process. Amen. If you're commenting on the section, please support me. Number one, embrace your process. Number two, love your process. Love your process. Yes, it's painful, 
but you have to go through what you have to go through in order for you to grow through what you have to go through. Pain is part of your process. Pain is part of purpose. So number two, love your process. Number three, number three, trust in God alone through your process. Trust in God alone through your process. His grace is sufficient for you. Though the affliction is just but for a moment, family of God. Romans 8 talks about that. This affliction is just but for a moment. Which cannot be compared to the glory of God that shall be revealed inside of you, family of God. Listen to me, you're just going through something. Listen to that again. You are just going through something. So it's not meant to stay. You're going through it. It came so that it might pass. It came so that it might pass. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Glory to God. Number four. Number four. Meditate upon God's word through the process. Meditate upon God's word through the process. Amen. So that it's important that you think the thoughts of God and you speak what God is saying. You only say what the word of God says. You don't say what the world is saying because if a believer says what the world is saying, then you are speaking death. This is not a time you should be speaking death. You should speak in life. Not speaking negative. Speak life. Speak positive. Prophesy life. Decree and declare the promises of God. Amen. Speak by faith. As you walk by faith and you live. Amen. In faith and not by sight. Amen. Praise God. So number four. Meditate on God's word through the process. Right. Amen. So doubt is removed from your mind. Lies is removed. Praise God. Because the only road map the enemy has is the road map to your mind. Right. Praise God. Number five. Number five. Put on the whole armor of God through your process because there's, there is intensified spiritual warfare when you're going through your process. The greater the anointing, the greater the pain. Oh, is this helping you tonight? <laughs> Glory to God. Put on the whole armor of God through your process, right? That's point number five. Put on the whole armor of God through your process. Thanks for the comments. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Right? Because you have to arm yourself in the season. You have to be vigilant. You have to be alert. Don't become ignorant of the devices of the enemy. Are you understanding this, family of God? This is not a time for you to fall asleep. This is a time for you to be in intense prayer. It's time for true intercessors, prayer warriors, watchmen to arise on the wall and take your position on, on the wall. And intercede to intercept. True intercession is to intercede to intercept. Not asking God for houses and cars and money and you want to be a billionaire and a millionaire and all that. No, 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 no. That's not intercession. True intercession, amen, praise God, is interceding to intercept. Are you understanding this? Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. You, you bring in heaven down. You bring in heaven down. Hallelujah. Praise God. So you have to be sensitive to the Spirit of God. Okay? Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So you have to be uh, vigilant. You have to be 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 alert. You have to be alert. Are you understanding this people of God? And we ought not to be ignorant of the devices of the enemy. Are you understanding this? I would have you, brethren, not to become ignorant of the devices of the enemy because the enemy has become so sophisticated, people of God. This is why you have to discern by the Spirit of God. 
You have to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit. You also have to be sensitive to people's pain. You have to be sensitive to where people are. Are you understanding this? A true shepherd will be willing to smell like the sheep. A true shepherd will be willing to smell like the sheep. It's not about houses and cars and money and tithes. People of God, get into the trenches. Come on, somebody. Get into the trenches and, and help God's people. Get God's people to a place of safety where they can be restored, be made whole again in the name of Jesus. Jesus, my God. Thank you, Father. Um, point, I think we are on point number, I've given you six points, is that correct? Are we on the sixth point? Amen. Um, be led, be led and governed and directed. Thank you. We, this is the sixth point I'm giving to you now. Your sixth uh, key strategy is for you to be led, governed, directed by the Holy Spirit. That is so important through your process. Be led, governed, directed by the Holy Spirit. Romans 8 verse 14 says, those who are led the word led them means govern. Those who are led and governed by the Holy Spirit are true sons of God, meaning they are the mature ones. Praise God. So it's important that through your process, you must be led by the Holy Spirit. Amen. Governed, directed by the Holy Spirit and not by emotions and feelings. Why? Because your emotions and feelings are deceptive. Your emotions and feelings are deceptive. Are you understanding that people of God? So you don't trust in your emotions and feelings. You don't make any decisions on your emotions and feelings because it is deceptive. Okay, so those are six keys I've given to you tonight. Um, six strategy keys to help you through your process, to help you to get to your God next. Amen. Uh, help you to discover your purpose, carry out your purpose, fulfill your purpose. Amen. Praise God. To do right by God so that you can do right by God's people. Now, I want to go back to the scripture I said just now. I said, don't be ignorant of the devices of the enemy. Right? Don't be ignorant of the devices of the enemy. Now, there's two things that will happen to you when you walk in ignorance. Ignorance to what, family? Ignorance to the truth of God's word. Two things. When you walk in ignorance, you will be in a place of darkness and it will hold you in bondage. That's why Psalmist David says in Psalms 119, the entrance of God's word bringeth light. Oh, praise God. We need to pursue truth. We need to, we need to be Advent students of the word of God. Amen. Because it's the, it's, it's the truth of God's word that makes us free. It is the truth of God's word that does what? It makes us free. Why? Because it is a process. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Okay? So... Let's not lack the knowledge of God. Amen. Let's not lack the knowledge of God. Let's not lack the knowledge of God. The word of God says my people perish because of a lack of knowledge. A lack of knowledge of God and a lack of knowledge of God's word. That's why we are out of order. Are you understanding this? So we need to, we are called family of God. Amen. Praise God. To have, to have knowledge of who God is. The true living God. The God of your ancestors. Praise God. The God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. The true living God. The God of all creation. Not your westernized God. Not the God of this world. Come on. Come on. The true living God. To have a knowledge of God. And his word. His standard. His laws. His principles. That you will live according to his word. That you will walk out his word. That you will apply his word in your life. Are you understanding that people of God? Because God says in the word of God that when you reject the knowledge of God and his word, God says, I'll also reject you. And I'll also reject your children. Help us, Lord. Okay? Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. 
Praise God. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So, Father, I submit to you. I submit to you. Everything that was released tonight, I submit it to you. You take all the glory. I get no glory. You get all the glory, God. These are your people. I am your servant. Thank you for using me as your vessel of honor. Let me say this to someone and I'm released from this now. God will keep you if you allow him to keep you. I'm going to say that again. God will keep you if you allow him to keep you. Okay? So your prayer is God, keep me. Keep me. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High God shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my strength, He is my refuge, He is my strong tower, He is the horn of my salvation, He is my buckler, He is the lifter of my head. Allow God to keep you so that you don't lose yourself. Allow God to keep you. Lord, keep me. I always say that to the Lord, Lord, keep me. Because you know why I can't keep myself? Only God is able to do that, right? God, keep me. So tonight, if you have any problems, whatever the problem might be, I want you to lay your hands on your chest. We're going to do a prophetic gesture tonight. Whatever problems it is, whatever issues, whatever concerns, whatever it is tonight, I don't know. But I want you to lay your hands on your chest. Amen. We're going to do a prophetic gesture tonight. Praise God. And you're going to say, Lord, all these problems, I remove it from myself. And this is what you're going to do. You're going to say, Lord, I release it to you. That's what you're doing, where you are right now. Lord, this is not my problem. This is not my problem. This is not my issue. This is not my this is not my fight. This is not my battle. But God, I release, I release it to you. Take complete control. That's what you're doing. Do it with faith. Do it with faith. Do it with faith. Do this prophetic gesture with faith. And that you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. As you did that, I pray the release of God's peace upon you now. Receive it. Receive it. Receive God's peace. Receive God's shalom upon you now. Receive God's rest upon you now. Your home, your family, your marriage, your relationship, your children. ministry, your business, I release God's peace on you now. Receive, receive the peace of God. Receive the presence of God. It's shifting and changing the atmosphere right now. Yes, atmospheres are changing right now. Hallelujah, hallelujah, in preparation for your miracles. Glory to God. Come on, somebody. I said in preparation for your miracles. God is still in the business of performing miracles. We serve a miracle-working God. So I release that upon you now in Jesus' name. If you receive that tonight, just put some hearts up there quickly. Let me see if you received. Let me see. I want to see confirmation. Just put some hearts or, 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 or thumbs up, whatever it might be, that you have received. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. He gets the glory. Come on, he gets the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for doing the work. Thank you, Jesus. You take all the glory now. You take all the glory. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for the hearts, thank you for the thumbs up, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, hallelujah. You will not be put to shame. You will not be put to shame when you trust in God completely. You will not be put to shame. God is your source, God is your supplier, not your boss, not your manager, not your supervisor, not your leaders, not your government. No, God is your source and your supplier. Amen. I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his children begging for bread. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen. Thank you, Lord, for confirming your word tonight. Thank you, thank you. We will see the hand of the Lord in the land of the living. Amen. We will see the hand of the Lord in the land of the living. Now you receive your healing in Jesus' name. Everyone's body is under attack right now in the name of Jesus. I cancel every attack on your health and your body now in the name of Jesus. La bro samandru sakata. I decree and I declare the release of the divine healing grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be released upon your life right now in Jesus name. I prophesy divine health to you now in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Every bone, marrow, tissue, blood cell, every organ in your body receive the resurrection power of Jesus Christ. Receive divine health by the stripes of Jesus you are healed in Jesus name. So I prophesy divine health to you now. I prophesy Zoe life. I decree and I declare that you shall live and not die to declare the works of Jesus Christ, my God, I rebuke the spirit of fear, I rebuke the spirit of panic and anxiety, I rebuke the spirit of suicide, I bind it in the name of Jesus over your life, your children, your family members, nieces, cousins, uncles, aunties, I don't know who it is, but I bind that spirit and I send it back to where it comes from in Jesus name and I release the blood of Jesus I plead the blood of Jesus upon your life upon their lives upon their soul that they will live and not die to declare the works of the Lord in Jesus name they have a purpose they will fulfill their purpose they shall live and not die to declare the works of the Lord may God heal every broken heart may God bind up all wounds tonight in the name of Jesus hallelujah I thank you God for inner healing uh, mentally emotionally physically hallelujah spiritually those who have been hurt Amen. By, 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 by people, leaders, uh, churches. I pray for inner healing, inner healing, inner healing. That you don't walk with regret, hostility, unforgiveness. Amen. You make right with God. You make right with yourself. You make right with one another. Mend your ways. Mend relationships. Return back to the Lord. Leave your gifts at the altar. Make right with your brother, family of God. Amen. Walk in love. Walk in love. Demonstrate the love of Jesus. Walk in the fear of the Lord. Walk and live in holiness. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, my God. Hallelujah. Amen. Be about the Father's business. So winning. So winning. So winning. And stay in habitation in the Word of God. Amen. Okay, well, family, I release myself tonight. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, I release myself. It was a pleasure and an honor being with you on this platform. Thank God for the opportunity. I thank you all for tuning in. Thank you all for your comments. Thank you for your prayers. Please continue to pray for me as I pray for you daily. Uh, please share this broadcast with family and friends. Share it on your Facebook page. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, family of God, God bless you. And I pray God bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you. Be gracious unto you and your family. I decree and I declare the blessing of the Lord upon your life, your home, your family, your children, your marriage, in your workplace, in your, uh, 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 in your schooling environment, those who are writing exams now, the children, praise God. Amen. In college, university as well. Amen. Even at work, Lord, I release grace upon each and every one of you in Jesus' name that you all will finish strong. You all will accomplish in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, I cancel every death spirit. I cancel every accident spirit. I cancel every premature death. I decree and I declare that you shall live and not die to declare the works of Jesus Christ. You are blessed in the city. You are blessed in the field. You are blessed coming in and you are blessed going out in Jesus name. I release God's peace and shalom and rest upon your life, your home and your family, in your workplace, in your schooling environment, in your neighborhood, in your area, in Jesus mighty name. And may God remove destiny killers from your life. And may God bring destiny helpers in your life. In Jesus name. So I release you with the blessing of the Lord and the peace of God. Amen. Well God bless you tonight. Love you all. Amen. I am God's humble servant. A bond servant of Jesus Christ. I love you all so much. Stay true to God. Pray, pray, pray. Pray without ceasing. Pray, 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 pray. Stay in the Lord. Stay in the Lord. 
Stay in the Lord. Stay in the Lord. Okay. Well, love you all tonight. God bless you. Thank you all. Uh, family of God, if you feel led by the Holy Spirit, if you would like to sow a seed, you're more than welcome to do that, family of God. The details will come up on the comment section after we go off the air. You can always return back and see it. If you are led by the Holy Spirit, you may do so. Okay? You may do so. Amen. He, the Word of God says, He who teaches the Word of God is worthy of double honor. He who teaches the Word of God is worthy of double honor. Amen? So obedience is better than sacrifice. So you obey God if God tells you. No one is forcing you. Please, no, 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 no. Okay, all right. Amen. Good to see my dear brother, Apostle Randy Gradic. Love you much. All the way from USA. Love you so much. Yes, amen. God to remove destiny killers from your life. Amen. Amen. That is true. That's my prayer for each and every one of you. Amen. Amen. Praise God and may God assign destiny helpers in your life and know that you are a destiny helper. So you are there to go out and help other people. Amen. Discover their purpose and reach their destiny. You are a destiny helper. You are there to build people, not tear people down. Amen. Praise God. Stop tearing people down and having competition with churches and, and denominations and ministries. Family, it's about Jesus. It's about advancing the kingdom and expanding the kingdom of God. Amen. Walk in unity, brotherly love, and oneness. 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 Amen. Praise God. Until we all come to the unity of the faith. To the full measure of the full stature in Christ Jesus. Amen. So we all have to grow up. We all have to mature. We all have to grow up and we all have to mature. Amen. Praise God. We well, love you so much. Please feel free to, 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 to uh, sow a seed. Amen. Uh, secondly, um, if you need help, please reach out. We are here to help you. Amen. Praise God. Reach out. Ministers, leaders, churches, reach out. Reach out. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. So, love you all so much. God bless you. Always in my thoughts and prayers. Stay true to God. God loves you. God is with you. And you will not fail. Amen. So, blessings be released upon you. Thank you all once again. Shalom. 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 Shalom.